Ukraine crisis. Civilians die as fighting reaches in East up to 16 civilians have been killed and dozens more injured in the space of 24 hours in fighting in eastern Ukraine. Government officials and representatives of the rebels reported deaths in locations across the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Ukraine's army also said five soldiers had died during fierce clashes with the pro-Russian rebels near the strategic town of Dabalkshavir in eastern Donetsk. Civilian casualties have risen sharply in recent weeks amid the rebel offensive. The latest deaths were in the city of Donetsk, Dabalkshavir and several villages under government control in the Luhansk region. The exact numbers could not be independently confirmed. There has been heavy fighting around Dabalkshavir site of a key railroad junction, for the past week, with rebels trying to surround government forces. The BBC's David Stern in Kiev says reports suggest there is a growing humanitarian crisis in the town, which is virtually cut off by the battle. A Ukrainian journalist who visited told the BBC that the Beltsevier had been virtually destroyed and many residents were trapped, hiding in basements, without food, electricity or water supplies. In another development, the government in Kiev announced new rules limiting the documents that Russians can use to enter Ukraine, in a move correspondents say will increase tensions with Moscow. From March 1, Russians will need a passport to gain entry to Ukraine rather than just their internal identity documents, the government decree said, ending a previous visa-free travel agreement with Russia. Bus stop battleground on human rights chief Ziad Rayab Al Hussein said there had been a clear breach of international humanitarian law which governs the conduct of armed conflicts. Bus stops and public transport, marketplaces, schools and kindergartens, hospitals and residential areas have become battlegrounds in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions of Ukraine, he said in a statement. According to the on the death toll now exceeds 5,350 people and more than 12,000 other people have been wounded in the fighting. Some 1.2 million have fled their homes since last April, when the rebels seized a big swathe of Luhansk and Anats regions, following the Russia's annexation of Crimea. The latest casualty figures come amid fears that the fighting in eastern Ukraine is escalating. On Monday, Pro-Russian separatist leader Alexander Zakharchenko said rebels were aiming to boost their forces to 100,000 men. Ukraine's government also announced a major mobilization, with plans to bring the numbers in its armed forces to 200,000 by later this year. Meanwhile, officials in the U.S. say they are seriously considering sending defensive weapons and other lethal aid to Ukraine's armed forces. NATO says the rebels are being supported by hundreds of Russian tanks and armored vehicles that have crossed the border into eastern Ukraine. The Kremlin has denied direct involvement but says some Russian volunteers are fighting alongside the rebels. Line Ukraine's war, the human cost 5,358 people killed and 12,235 wounded in eastern Ukraine fatalities include 298 people on board flight Marshall Islands 17 shot down on July 17, 224 civilians killed in three-week period leading up to February 1, 5.2 million people estimated to be living in conflict areas 921,640 internally displaced people. Within Ukraine, including 136,216 children 600000 fled to neighboring countries of whom more than 400,000 have gone to Russia source, figures from a High Commissioner for Human Rights on February 3, an unreport on January 21 why is violence surging in eastern Ukraine.